Suki is a five-year-old purebred Cleveland Bay mare. She was sent to us straight from the breeder by her new owner to be broken to ride and drive. Other films showing her progress under saddle can also be seen on our YouTube channel. This film will show her progress in harness. Here we show her walking happily through water going over bridges both over rivers and over the motorway. She will also stand quietly on the loose rein looking over the rails at traffic below. This is important if you are ever forced onto the pavement. Suki will hold the carriage back while going downhill at the walk or trot and will get into the collar in order to pull it uphill while remaining at a steady pace. She is only being driven in a soft rubber bit. Every horse that comes here gets used to being washed and bathed, as shown here. She is also happy being rinsed off with our hot water washer. Suki is happy working at the walk, trot and canter. We have also trained her to be safe in traffic, not shying away even when this lorry cuts the corner on a blind bend for example. This situation can happen at any time on the roads, so we believe it is better that your horse is prepared and will not panic even when it is working this close to large vehicles. Yeah. She's going long sweet, is it not? She worked, you know, we've just done seven miles. This is seven miles into this town. Here is damage, six and a half, seven miles. She's not broken the pace all the way. She's trotting all the way. Good work in the top. You know, and she come on there all the way like that. It's nice, nice and straight with her head. And she's a mare that you can only put so much knowledge in before she starts getting sour. You know, like pissed off with the job, you know what I mean? But, you know, what has helped her actually She's doing a bit of riding, just give her another bit of interest, you know, a bit of something else to think about. She'd be safe for you to take out, but I'm telling you now, so please listen to me, this mare is a liberty taker. If she can get away with something, she will. And you've got to jump on her, or you've got to jump on her like a ton of bricks. You know, as soon as she steps out of line, say, what's your game? Behave yourself, you understand what I mean? And if you can do that, well, you've got to do it. She'll be a liberty taker. She'll be two minutes before she'll be turning, coming home. <coughs> that type of thing, you know. So, there's a good baby. Come over here, darling. Come over. Good nice bit of soap in her mouth, you can see there. You can see here Suki's lovely head carriage on a soft rubber bit and the slobber around her mouth. She will also stand still on a slack rein with no one at her head i.e. she does not need a groom holding her still. We believe it is important that horses will stand still without someone at their heads. If you are out driving and your groom needs to get down to adjust the harness or replace a brushing boot, for example, the horse must be able to stand still without the groom being at their head. 
The groom cannot be in two places at once, nor should a groom be expected to keep the horse still from the ground because it is not listening to the driver's instructions. This is why when we train horses, we teach them to stand still calmly on a loose rein with no one at their heads, even in busy environments such as in the middle of a high street. We also encounter a wide variety of traffic on our roads, both in the centre of town and on the surrounding roads. Suki is confident and happy being driven alongside the traffic in a soft rubber bit. It is one thing driving a horse in traffic in a metal bit, so you have something to hang on to in order to control it, that the horse will obey because it causes pain. But it is quite another to drive it in a soft rubber bit, proving that the horse is listening to the driver's verbal instructions and is not frightened by the vehicles. Traffic and large vehicles can also be found in the countryside, so even if owners plan never to drive their horse in a city centre, in our opinion they still need to be confident in different environments, as sometimes frightening things from one environment can move to the more familiar one, which is then very unnerving for the horse. We also believe we should share the roads with motorists, which means doing our part to ensure our horses are not a major hazard or a nuisance on the roads. A lot of emphasis nowadays is placed on motorists passing wide and slow so they do not startle the horses, but we feel our duty as responsible carriage drivers, road users and horse trainers is to ensure our horses will not be startled on the road. Obviously, the horse is an animal, not a machine, but that should not be used as an excuse for poor training. Just as we ensure our cars have brakes, fuel and are roadworthy, i.e. they will respond to our directions, so should the horse be prepared. Although a horse is a living animal, there is still plenty we can do during training to thoroughly prepare them for working on the roads.